everybody, this is Pastor Bonnie, and I have not painted for a while, so I thought I'd do something different and take you guys along. I got some new paints in the mail today, and I'm going to be doing a painting class at church, so I thought I'd try it out on you guys and let you see it first. So it's just been a really beautiful sunny day today. We've had lots of rain here in the northeast, so it's a nice break. But I'm just going to be doing it. It's a simple technique. Um, we're going to do black paint first, and I just have a regular square brush. So we're just going to put it on the canvas. No rhyme or reason. I hope you guys are having a great summer. I hope that... Um, this will be a relaxing time together, and I always enjoy sharing with you guys. Um, like I said, it's been a while. I have a pottery business, and the, oh, we've just been so busy. I had like 300 orders in my queue, and I just could not get caught up. So I've been putting the shop on pause, and um, that seems to be making a big difference because I've I've uh, just about got caught up. I think I have maybe four more pieces out of the 300. So that will be a big relief and it gives me time to do other things like this that bring me joy. It's just nice to find the balance, you know. So this is just going to be simple and easy and fun and anybody can do it. You can do it with your friends. You can do it with your grandbabies. So, like I said, we're just going to paint it black. And then we'll just put that aside and let it dry. And then I'll show you guys the next step. I bought some paint brushes. These I got on Amazon. They're really cheap. You can do like, um, I can't remember. There was like 10 or 12 of them for like $10 or something. So, these are the brushes we're going to use. And then I bought this. These are... Um, nine out, nine, ten ounces of paint. I bought these on Amazon too. Just I buy stuff that's really inexpensive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the leaves, and we're gonna go from dark to light. I always like to use these paper plates. I just keep these around, and you can see that the this is actually dried really fast, which is what I wanted. Um, and then I'm just gonna start with the. the um, green paint first and you just kind of do a, like a sweeping motion with it so there might have to be a couple of layers and my cat is over here on the corner he gets so curious about anything i do so i'm hoping he won't jump up here and i have to shoo him up before he steps in the paint but you can see you just kind of drag the paintbrush along aslan get down no get down you can see you guys he says i want to see what you're doing I'm not sure if I'm going to like this um, black background. I might end up, Aslan, get down. I might end up having to um, use my thicker paint. We'll see in just a few minutes. Maybe this probably wasn't quite as dry as I thought. It would be okay. That's the fun part about acrylic paint. If you don't like it, you can always change it. Try something different. I 
There we go. So we'll let me hold that up so you guys can see it. And then I'm just gonna let that dry. Oh, now I'm gonna put this clover fields. And I buy my paints all different places. This one I think I got at Walmart. Um, it used to be 50 cents, but now it's like a dollar. Everything's gone up, hasn't it? So we're just gonna brush that on right over the top. And you kind of see how um, when you go from dark to light, it just it gives it dimension and texture. This one's just going to be a really simple, really easy painting, just so we can try it out. going to do the white daisies and this is a little bit smaller brush this was the one that I was using and this one's a little smaller and we're going to use some black I mean brown paint and you can see this these paper plates work really great because I can just toss them when I get done so I'm actually at work and I'm doing this in between my telephone calls. So we're gonna do little brown circles. The daisies are out here and because of all the rain, oh my goodness you guys, it's just been stunning. Just fields and fields and fields of these beautiful white daisies just been gorgeous so they are kind of my inspiration and you always want to just wash the brushes off um, as you are changing out the paints because they will harden really fast so Aslan did get up here and knocked everything over so I had to fix the grass it's curious about everything. He's our 20 pound main Kuna. So we're gonna do this color, it's light apricot. And what I wanna do is just kinda go back and fill in the circles a little bit. And I'm just gonna dab it on. And see how it kinda picks up the brown. And remember I told you everything's about light and dark so so far I think it's going good and then we're going to use the white I just want to rinse out my brush And then the petals, just start from the top and drag them in. Let's do it the other way. So they have a point. And we'll go back and work on the shadow, do it like that. I gotta be honest, I'm kinda glad I'm trying this paint out. It's, it's actually really watery. So it's, I'm used to working with um, paint that's a little bit thicker. So this, I'm not so sure. But it's peaceful, just the same.
we actually live right on a nature trail and it's just kind of so delightful every time i go out there i see turtles and i see ducks and i see there's actually three deers that live near us that i've been able to watch and there's a river right across the street from us and that's been kind of fun because one time they didn't secure me so i got to watch them walking up the river uh, and they were just it was just peaceful and beautiful to watch them in their natural habitat. They weren't afraid because they didn't hear me and they didn't smell me. So it's just been really joyful. And we live in a really old house. Most of the homes around here are old New Englanders. Ours is like 125 years old. So it's actually been a challenge with our modern, of course, you know, we we have all kinds of gadgets to plug in and, and um, not enough outlets. So we've had to rewire. And of course, for my, we have three kilns for the business. So it has definitely been a challenge. But like I said, this paint's really thin. So I don't know. I was going to use these for my class, but I'm not so sure now. I'm kind of glad I'm trying them out first. They kind of might work good if I was going for like a watercolor technique, but I don't know. I think what I might do is get some of my other paints, my thick paints, and put them on over the top. And this will be like a kind of a shadow effect. And when you do the daisy petals, you can put them right over the top of each other so they look more natural. try this paint is really thick bodied acrylic and I think I got this this one I got at um, Hobby Lobby so I'm gonna try some thicker paint and I'll show you the difference and actually what I really love when I use my thick paint I usually use a palette knife and I might we'll see what this looks like like I said, you guys are being like guinea pigs tonight. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Much better. Yeah, see the difference you guys? So I'm hoping you can see this. I'm left-handed and it's kind of a challenge to make these videos because people can't always see because my, my hand's always in the way. So I'm hoping you'll be able to see anyway. Let's see if I'm trying the palette knife. So the palette knife, you just put some on the bottom I love the palette knives. I, I do lots of paintings of flowers because it just adds so much texture. Ooh. 
usually I pay, put on some really pretty music, but I kind of, I'm enjoying the peace and quiet. We just went to my grandmother's, meaning my uh, granddaughter's graduation, and it was so much fun to see all the family, all the hubbub and noise, but I do enjoy my solitude. I like to spend time in prayer. You know, when you have some quiet time just to yourself, the Lord will speak to you and he talks to you in ways that you can understand. I always tell people we have to learn to listen to the whisper because he loves us and he, he wants to give you insight about things in your life and he wants to give you guidance. And I've learned, especially when I go on the trail, that's when I do my talking to the Lord. And what I've learned to do is I'll just be quiet. And sometimes he wakes me up with ideas. Sometimes he will show me pictures of things in my mind. And the Lord really wants to be that close to you in your life. And if you don't know him, oh, you guys, it's just the best thing ever to know Jesus. And it's not about... Uh, a religion it's about having a relationship and I don't think he really cares what church we go to as long as it's a church that lifts us up and we can be part of you know we kind of get hung up on titles and different denominations and squabbling and I don't think that's what the Lord has I think he just wants to love us so it's really easy to know him I know for myself I grew up in an alcoholic family, and I was Catholic, and, and as a Catholic girl, I totally believed in Jesus. I just didn't know him like I do now. We just weren't taught quite the same, and nothing against Catholics, because there's some beautiful Catholic churches and beautiful Catholic people, but you have to find what works. So for me, I've tried lots of different churches, and the one we go to now is just a small church that we can really feel a part of and like I told you I'm getting ready to teach this class there will be 10 women there um, but anyway Jesus just wants to be personal and so you learn I, I practice I'll talk to him talk pray out loud and then I'll be quiet and listen and see what he has to say and he will talk to you and give you guidance and direction and hope and encouragement. It's just really amazing. So that's kind of cool. And then I do want to go back and do a little more now when I've got the petals on. But anyway, you would just say a simple prayer and say, Dear Jesus, I ask you to forgive me and I pray that you'll help me to know you. And that's all. I believe that you're the Son of God. And I ask you into my heart to forgive my sins. I'll tell you, when I did that, when I was 16 years old, it was the best thing I've ever done in my life. And I have never looked back. And I've gone through some tough times in my life, and the Lord has always been there. Always. And that's what he wants for you, too. So we're going to use, I'm trying to, so we're going to use this really tiny fine brush. Let's put some stems. this thick body paint for the leaves and I bought this at Hobby Lobby too or Michael's it might have been might have been the thickest Hobby Lobby the thick body paints are a lot more expensive and you can see 
you can just combine them. So we're gonna put some leaves. I've been having fun this year. I have a um, container gardens and I put zucchinis and because we've had so much rain, oh my gosh, those plants are almost as tall as I am and they've already loaded with baby zucchinis. So we are going to be able to bless people with them. Put some of this on top. And so it'll be fun, but it's I enjoy the container gardens because I don't have to weed them and there's no bending. I have paints everywhere. I'm trying to find that light green. so fun you guys I never know what these are gonna look like I just have fun with them and I have fun sharing with you talking about Jesus because he's the most important person in my life next to my family I am an ordained minister I always tell you guys that if you need prayer I'm here for you um, you can just leave me a little message in the box and I always answer and you can you don't have to tell me always what it is but i do believe we're done so the last part i'm going to do i always like to put speckles over it and that's kind of my favorite part so i'm going to what we're going to do is water down that paint and um So I'm just watering it down and then just tap it. Isn't that pretty you guys? That's one of my favorite techniques. And then I'm going to water down the green and we're going to put some green on there. today you guys the last part i'll do when this dries i'll sign my name on the bottom and i have so enjoyed spending this time with you and trying out my new paints and i hope it's been relaxing for you guys and you can see it's just a super easy technique but i love each and every one of you you're in my thoughts and prayers every day and i just pray that you will be blessed